Hi guys, it's a short review on these ProLogic R2L bite alarms. Let's have a closer look. So you get a couple of uh, good quality rubber sleeves in with the pack. When I say a couple, I actually mean three. I'll put these back because that one there isn't paired up. If you have a look at that, it's got a real good quality feel to it. It's um, quite a soft texture rubber finish and uh, all in all I'm really good really pleased with the the quality of these quite amazing for the price the only thing that I wasn't that keen on was the uh, little white roller wheel there I thought that should probably be black but that's just nitpicking other than that I'm really chuffed with them quite a sleek design very sensitive which I'll go into now um, you've got your volume your tone and your sensitivity there your main on off button obviously this is your little speaker you've got a jack for your swingers a little output there two LEDs you've got your take on the top and you will drop back underneath there inside here where your rod will sit you've got two nice oh, little inserts there it all feels really sleek and really well manufactured got a 9 volt battery in the back there the cover slides on nice and firm and what I'm going to do now is going to grab a piece of paper and uh, we'll have a listen to the tones and we'll have a look at the settings okay so let's have a look at these I'll turn on the receiver sorry I keep forgetting to to hold it so press hold it for two seconds all the lights will flash like so I'll pop that there make sure this is on which it is and then I'll show you the sensitivities I'll turn the volume up a touch so there's your drop back and you can see that I'm hardly moving that there that is on sensitivity 5 so we'll turn it all the way down right we'll go on 0 so there you go that took about 5 centimeters to move that if we have a look in the settings here it will show you exactly how much setting zero should be so okay setting zero is 5.65 um, centimeters of line movement to activate your your beeps setting one is 4.5 two is 3.6 I'll skip a few in the middle don't want to bore you it's at its most sensitive setting which is nine on setting nine that's 0.0 uh, sorry 0.2 centimeters of movement so two millimeters of set of movement will activate your alarm so we'll turn that up to nine just to prove a point and we'll move there you go I'm hardly moving that at all so if we bring that a little bit closer to the, the camera I mean that is so sensitive that really I don't see myself using that I'll probably um, I mean you, you'll be picking up bites or, or line knocks or anything or wind any 
short of movement whatsoever you'll be um, sick and tired of waking up through the night in your bivvy um, but that was just to prove how sensitive these things are so yeah for those of you that um, have looked at buying these you will probably have done your homework and had a look at on uh, a couple of reviews and you might have had a look at the the video from ProLogic of how these are actually built um, they show you how the infrared um, is beamed into the roller and how the slightest movement actually acti activates your uh, your alone uh, your alarm tone um, I'm really glad I bought them. I've yet to try them out. I've, I've got to be honest, I haven't tried them out yet outside in the real world. Um, but they have had some um, some fantastic reviews. And uh, I'm really looking forward to testing them out on the bank. Right, so let's get back to this. Um, I'll turn the volume up. So... That's still on maximum sensitivity. I'll turn that down to five. That's the sensitivity, by the way. So there you go. That's moving around about 15 millimeters, that is, or thereabouts. Obviously, I, I can't be too precise. On camera but I have tried this and what I did was I um, I put some raw markings on the paperwork and it is pretty damn close to what the uh, the specs the specs quote in fact it seems spot on to me but without doing a, a scientific study can't really go into minute settings right anyway sorry I'm rambling on so we'll go down to sensitivity three. I'll try that. There we go. That's probably nearer the setting that I would have it on, obviously depending on the conditions. Um, right, I'll turn that back up again, just for now. And we'll do the, the tones. I'll nudge the volume down a touch. I'm not I'm not a fan of that one. I tend to um, go to the top and work back, so I go for a high pitched one. So that's on nine. Come down. Um, I think that was seven. drop back right let me come to the receiver unit comes in a case nice soft silicone type of soft rubber I'm, I, I'll be honest I don't know what the material is but it feels good quality ergonomic um, but I like the fact that it's got a rod rest uh, rod screw there on the bottom or bank stick should I say so you can pop it on one of those if that takes your fancy but it'll also sit upright because the screw is only short it's about four or five mil I would say so that'll sit on your bivy table you've also got a night light there for your bivy and you've got this handy memory button there 
So if your one of your rods go goes off in the night and you're not sure which one it was, then you can press the memory button and it will tell you. So let me just try this one. So there you go. Okay, so let's try the other one. So you go, you can see there that the red rod's gone off. Should have perhaps timed it then. Right, bit of a fuzzy head, just woke up, middle of the night, which rod's gone off, press the memory button. And there you go. One other feature is they have a vibration mode. There we go. Turn it right up to nine and pull that down. Turn the volume down on the receiver. There you go. You can see the light flashing. You'll hear it vibrating. Drop back. There you go. White drop back light comes on. There you go. Okay guys, just one more thing. You've noticed I've um, dipped the light levels. That's just so I can show you the, uh, the night light. So basically, while the alarm is switched on, just one click and the light will come on. And that will only come on once the, uh, the light levels have dipped. And then to turn it off, it's a case of one click again result click it again you'll notice it if I just there you go but what's happening is the sensor there underneath is picking up the light from outside if I just cover it over there you go you'll see that it comes on Okay guys, um, that's about it then. If I've left anything out or I've made a mess of something, because it's been quite a rushed video this one. So if I've got something wrong, just drop it in the comments below and uh, I'll reply. Or I might even do a, a remake of the video once I've put it through its paces through the, uh, the real world, so to speak, outside. Okay guys, cheers for watching. See ya.